Hi, this is India again. Today I'll be showing you how I made this little wooden box. So, obviously I'm not actually making the wooden box. It's all about the design and how I painted it, how I changed the look of it. Originally it was completely wooden, uh, but as you can see here, you can see through the, the layer of paint there. I started painting a design which I didn't particularly like. I think it was a bad decision on me to choose that sort of composition and design and I decided to change it. So I painted a few times over with just acrylic paint on a white screen and then I started working with a couple of uh, different blues. So I think I'm using here Patalo blue and I'm not too sure, I think ultramarine or something like that. Yeah, and some black and white, so it's like a very simple, sort of monochrome kind of design. And at first I just layered some patterns on, started working a bit more into it. I just, I was really inspired by these traditional sort of blue china ceramics and the UK Delftware uh, ceramics and pottery designs always looked at them and you know I just love that kind of beautiful blue color and I thought I wanted to do something similar myself but maybe change something up so I decided to do it on a wooden surface as I have a few lovely wooden boxes that just needed decor decorating really so I decided to paint over them. This little wooden box holds my inks. It has loads of little separators inside I just decided for inks as I got it and it was the exact number of two inks per little separator. I think there's six uh, sections inside. So the idea at first was just to see how it goes. I looked at some pictures online of various floral designs and thought of starting to improvise. So the actual top, I looked at a certain design that was already made. But these ones at the sides all over, I completely improvised. I looked at certain different flowers and then I decided to transfer them in the same style as uh, the top surface. Which actually took a lot less time than looking at, you know, the initial first drawing was... Took the longest to make, just cause... You know, I um, I had to understand how I wanted it to look like, so I went through it on to it a few times. While well, here it was a few simple layers, and then it was done. But I didn't really enjoy just the complete final finish of how it was just with the acrylic paint. So in some of the artworks, like uh, some of these um, sides, you'll see that I'll be using a pen to line work some of the edges and some of the darker colors. It's an ink pen that I got from Japan when I was traveling and I really love the pens. I got a very beautiful red and a very beautiful indigo blue, which I'll be using here to outline. Yes, so you can see I'm using this pen right this moment to make these sort of darker shapes. So it's not black, it might seem, it's near black, it's very dark blue, but I think it just makes it look a bit more finished, a bit more popped over, sort of, I don't know, crisper. <laughs> um, so also what I quite enjoy doing was matching the paintings of each side so that it would seem like a pattern that's connected. So later on when I take this little box and I angle it in certain angles, the images match up and it just kind of looks like a, one kind of piece of a drawing. So as if you had, you know, a, a finished image and you just kind of covered the box in it. But yeah. Um, I really enjoyed making this. Uh, it was quite an interesting experiment. And 
and I think I'll be making some more uh, sometime soon because I have some more wooden boxes. So this is a final image of all the sides. One side, the front, and then a different image.